Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Stave Negroot, a Dutch artist, and it has been a while since I posted a video on this YouTube channel. There's good reason for it, because I've been working on some own projects and also some projects for museums, but mainly uh, about this little hippo I created 30 years ago. And I started out as a professional illustrator and comics artist with this little hippo. So I'm just going to show you how I started out and that I really, you know, started drawing on paper before I, you know, started to draw uh, on the computer and also uh, in Procreate on the iPad. The first books I published were uh, these books. This is called An Ongelooflijk Verhaal and uh, it's also published for Apple Books. So you can still buy them. I will leave a link below this video. And these were just black and white and everything I drew on paper. And uh, we didn't have internet or cell phones. So, you know, you really had to, you know, learn how to draw and also do it on paper. And this illustration, that's the beginning of the story. And that's Professor Dr. Anton Moll. Um, I first wanted to do it in color and at that time you know you really couldn't color um, on a computer so what you had to do is make uh, a picture uh, of the ink and then you would send it to a lithograph and he would make a blueprint and that was separated with a cell with just the um, line art and underneath the same thing on a piece of uh, thick paper. And then you could color everything on, on the paper and then this would be sent to the printer and then you could, you know, uh, draw comics in color. Later on, uh, I used the same principle in Procreate or first I, I drew in Photoshop, but you know, the same uh, rules still apply, you know, you have the line art on a separate layer and here it's just a cell layer and in the computer it's just uh, uh, another layer you work with. So these were the books uh, I started publishing with Quap uh, Nelpart or Quap Hippo and this was the first story and everything was in black and white and I'm just going to show you some of the original art I did and I drew everything a lot bigger because that's a little trick you know when you paint or when you draw on paper with ink lines it's you know better to draw it a lot bigger and these are some original illustrations I did for for this book and if you wanted to apply a raster, and they did that for uh, comic strips for, for newspapers, and then you had to buy sheets of Lettertone, and they would have, you know, the, the dots in it, and then you would lay it on top of it, because it had some glue to it, and then you would cut them out. And I've made another video on my YouTube channel, how you now can do that in Procreate, so that's very interesting. But, you know, this is the same principle and they use this a lot for uh, comics or comic strips that were published in newspapers because everything was published in black and white. So these are some of the illustrations of the first story. And I first started out, you know, doing the story as a comic strip. But later on, I decided that I wanted to make uh, a book with one illustration per page and these are some of the originals and they were all drawn on paper and you know these illustrations were a lot bigger than the original size so you could go to a copy shop and then shrink them down and it's four times as big as it is published and when you uh, make it smaller your line art will become a lot more crisp. So these are some of the old illustrations I did. 
and I drew everything with a pencil and I inked everything with a brush. And this is Professor Dr. Anton Moll and I later also made a YouTube channel which is called Like So. Also leave a link below this video and this is uh, an illustration from 1993. And this is the second book I did, and which is called um, The First Hippo. And this is the original art and you now you can see the difference i ink this on marker paper so i was just trying out different kinds of uh, materials now i ink this all with uh with a brush and i also used gouache white gouache you know to get more of a white on top of the inks so everything needed to be done on on paper. And I would, you know, draw the sketches on a separate layer and I used a light table, you know, to trace over it and then do the inks on a separate piece of paper. And later on, I would use non-retro blue pencils. And I learned that from uh, looking at the original art of Walt Kelly. And I just saw that he would draw uh, the pencils in blue. And later on, I found out that when you um, copy it, the blue won't appear on, on, on your scan. So that's, uh, if you're still working on paper, that's a great tip. And you see a lot of, when you look at original art of comics, that a lot of artists work with uh, the non-repro blue pencils. I've republished all of these three books in, in this book. And this is the artist edition. And it's signed by the author, Paul Royakers, I work with. and. And these stories you still can buy on Apple Books. And there are three different books, which also have audio to it. And this is the uh, t-shirt design. And this one is available again on Redbubble. I'll leave a link below this video. And you know, these are some posters and silk prints I, I did back in those days. And, these were illustrations I did in gouache for uh, a calendar. And I'm now working on, on this book, which is called Quap en het Refrigeraat, or Quap en the Refrigerate. And that was a comic with um, text underneath because that's a uh, European style because they didn't want the balloons in the in the comics in in the newspaper so they had to write down the dialogue underneath uh, the story and I'm going to republish this again also in uh, in book but in Dutch and I'm also going to republish it uh, as a comic or a, an ebook, also with a, a soundtrack to it. For the reissue of this book, I already made a cover and I'll just show you the cover and how I drew it in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun. And practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!